Hello there, and welcome to the KUZZ Newlywed Game, a game in which we will test the love of some of your favorite KUZZ radio personalities and their spouses. My name is Vic D, and for obvious reasons, I'll be hosting this event. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to know our participating couples. Alright, now that we've gotten to know our contestants, the point of the game is simple. Let's see how well these couples really know each other. We're going to ask simple questions. The point is not if there's a right or wrong, it's if we can get matching answers. So with that being said, question number one. House is completely filthy after a house party. First room to get cleaned is? Do I get credit for being messy? Sure, why not? Okay. Alright, first Ready? room. Alright, I'm going to say the living room. Bathroom. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Bathroom. Oh, I put kitchen! <laughs> Alright, what do you got? Kitchen. Kitchen! <laughs> Boom! Answers are? I said kitchen. You said the backyard. <laughs> but we do look at our backyard. We, we, we do look backyard. at our backyard as another room, so there we go. Oh, and a rough first round, unless your name is Brent and Julie. They were the only ones who got matching answers with kitchen. So, boom, let's go on to question number two. Question number two, after an argument, the first one to apologize. First one to Hold apologize on. after on. a thing. And I'm not supposed to see it, by the way. She's a pro at this, I'm telling you. You all have to give me some credit. Okay. Brent. <laughs> oh, that is so not right. That is so because I'm the one who screws up the most. I'm the one who screws up. She, she never does anything wrong. And quite the opposite, a great second round there, unless your name is Ken McLeod and Crystal. Let's move on and see if they can pick up the pace with question number three. Question number three. What is your biggest pet peeve about your husband? This ought to be interesting. We're talking pet peeve, not major character flaw or anything like that, you see. I don't know. Leave clothes all over the place. <laughs> not changing the... T I am the only one who does that in this house. Don't even start... Heifer. <laughs> I'm ready. I know, you wrote something awful fast. <laughs> uh, okay, what did you write? Leaves the toilet seat up. Oh, same area. Stinks up the bathroom. It's just a couple words. Doesn't need to be a whole sentence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. I said leaving the seat up. Procrastination. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will get to this one later. Seems like there was no shortage of answers for the wives there, but the only ones who walk away with a point are Tanya and Sean, which are now knotted up with Brent and Julie for the lead at two. Let's go on to question number four. As a kid, what did your wife want to be when she grew up? Go ahead. I'm going to say fireman. <laughs> <laughs> no, she wanted to be the fireman. That's what it was. A nerd. I didn't know that. 20 years, I don't even know that. Singer. <laughs> Teacher. Teacher. Yep. Okay. Ah, you to stretch. Photographer. Ah, that was true. That is true. I wrote softball player because she that's all she did. And our morning show host seemed to be shamelessly clueless on that one with an answer of, I didn't even know that. The only ones who get on the board there are Tanya and Sean and Brent and Julie at another point while Ken and Crystal still looking to get on the board. Hopefully they can do it with our question number five. Question number five. Where was your first date? Where was your first date? What did you put? Didn't have one. We technically never went out on a date. Just got hooked up, you know what I'm saying? yourself. Sean's house? My house. Yeah! Okay, I said the Cheesecake Factory in San Francisco. What did you say? Cheesecake Factory. All right. Okay, ready? Yep. 18 years ago, Tuesday. 
Seven Oaks Country Club Heart Seven Association. Oaks, Seven Oaks Country Club Heart Association. And I'll tell you what. It seems like Sean and Tanya have been Netflix and chilling before Netflix and chilling was a thing. I do got to admit, though, my favorite answer, Jeff. <laughs> we just kind of did it. Yeah, <laughs> we just kind of got it on. All right, so let's take a look at our final leaderboard. Congratulations to Tanya and Sean and Brent and Julie, who answered four out of the five questions correctly. Your love is the kind I'm looking for. As for Jeff and Val, hanging on by a thread with one, and Ken and Crystal, who always remind us, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Thank you for joining us on this edition of the KUZZ Newlywed Game. We'll see you next time. You think they'll let me play next time?